What's going on YouTube, GSNO right here, so in today's video I have some great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 13.7, 13.6.1, 13 13.6 and even 13.5.1 on A12, A13 and so on devices. Now as you probably know these are no longer signed and haven't been signed for a while but if you're already there please do not update because we're going to get a jailbreak pretty soon. Now a little bit of a recap before we get into today's news. So you probably remember that back on September the Frida Sandbox movement, part of the Zekops, posted, quote, we're building a new jailbreak team, first release soon for 13.5 to 13.7, and a month after that we got this, quote, looking for testers for iOS 13.5.1 to 13.7, different models, if you have experience with that, please DM macOS and Xcode are required. Now a lot of people believe that this is going to be a requirement for the jailbreak itself to have macOS and Xcode just like macOS is a requirement for the check rain but this is not the case. This was only for the testers. Well yesterday they posted this quote there's a lot of pressure to release. We will release what we have so others can take it further on their own. We currently plan to release the source code. We're still waiting for the vendor but the wait should be over soon. And most importantly they also provide provided an insight on what they're going to release. They say here, quote, it's an LPE including PAC bypass. This is very important. An LPE stands for local privilege escalation and PAC bypass is a keyword. Without a PAC bypass, there's no way for us to run tweaks. So even if you have TFP0, for example, and you can get kernel read and write privileges, it's still not possible to get tweaks working on a jailbreak without a PAC bypass or without a clever packless method like uncover uses. So they're going to release a local privilege escalation which is a type of exploit, a kernel exploit probably in this case, and they say quote currently you will get SSH running as root, so basically SSH is available and you can sign your own binaries to run afterwards. Now I am actually thinking of building Blizzard jailbreak, my personal jailbreak, on top of this, you know just for fun, because this seems to be a pretty solid base with a PAC bypass and LPE and stuff like that, so it's actually a quite interesting thing and it will be part of my open source jailbreak project. Now this is going to be very useful and this can indeed be taken by the uncovered team if they want to integrate it but there are more exploits that will be released and I'm going to make another video about the next one but yes this one is a possibility. The uncovered team can get the LPE from here and try to port it to uncover to add support for 13.7 and lower and this way we would have a jailbreak that we already know, that we already know how to use, that we already know how it works and stuff like that and it would work on 13.7 and lower. But yeah, this is for 13.7 and lower. What about iOS 14? Well, the Frida Sandbox movement is actually a quite interesting one. They're fighting for our right to be able to modify our devices and to conduct our own security assessments on our devices we pay for, but they are not stuck with 13.7. The jailbreak hub asks them, quote, so now that this release is almost over, is there any chance you guys will look into future releases like iOS 14 at some point? And they replied with yes absolutely so we might even see an iOS 14 exploit in the future from the Frida sandbox which might as well be used for a jailbreak so keep an eye on this team they're going to release something very important very soon and it's probably a matter of days at this point and once they do that jailbreaks like the uncover in Odyssey can be updated and even I will take it and use it in the blizzard jailbreak so that's actually quite good and the fact that it includes a PAC bypass makes it even better because with this we can actually run Twix. For now what they're going to release is not a full jailbreak like they said initially, it's more of an exploit with SSH as root and of course you can sign your own binaries and stuff like that but it's not a full jailbreak with tweaks and whatever. But the exploit can indeed be used for that. So I'm looking forward for it. There is already an iOS 13.7 exploit released however that one is not exactly very very stable. Maybe this one is a little bit better. So thank you for watching, I am Geosnow. Till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.